What's up everyone, Jessica Dean here, and today's video is just gonna be a quick tip and trick. In fact, this video is specific for Ubiquiti users. If you're using Ubiquiti products in your home or office network, this video is for you. Now, if you are a Ubiquiti subscriber or user, chances are you received an email yesterday where they notified us that there was some unauthorized access to information that's hosted on a third-party provider. Now, while there's no indication that there was anything malicious or any information that was actually compromised, they are advising everyone to update their password or MFA just as a precaution. This video is gonna walk you through how easy it is to change your password and how to enable multi-factor authentication, MFA. Also, if you already had MFA enabled, you will need to reset that. We will walk through that as well. Let's check it out. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is head on over to account.ui.com. From there, you will need to enter your username or email as well as your current password. Once you're signed in, on the left-hand side, you'll see something that says security. When you click that, you'll see the option to change your password in the center of your screen. You will need to provide your old password. This is the potentially compromised password. And then you'll provide a new password, hopefully one that is more secure. Once you retype that password to confirm it, you'll click the button in the bottom right-hand corner to confirm. One thing I would like to note is the importance of updating this password with anything that is being used with that same email and password combination. This could be for anything on the internet. Remember, once your compromised information or potentially compromised information is out there, you don't want anyone to have access to anything pertaining to you or your services. The next thing you'll want to do within the UI webpage is to enable two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication. Simply open your phone, whether it's an iPhone or Android, navigate to the App Store or Play Store, and search for the Google Authenticator app. Once you've found the app, go ahead and click to install it. You will have to sign in or enter your fingerprint, eyeball, face, whatever. Just go ahead and authenticate. Once that downloads, go ahead and click open. Then it'll walk you through it. You'll simply click get started. You'll give permission to the camera, and then you can actually hover over and scan the QR code that pops up on your screen when you click that enable button or you toggle that switch. You'll enter the six digit passcode that's provided by Google Authenticator. You'll click submit, and then just like that, you will now have multi-factor or two-factor authentication enabled. Now, what do you do if you already had it enabled? That is an excellent question. First thing you'll want to do is disable it. To do that, you will still need to have your Google Authenticator. You'll grab that six digit passcode and enter it. Now you'll simply go through the process where you retoggle that switch, scan the new QR code, enter the new six digit code and hit submit again. Now you'll notice in my iPhone screen that there are two different Ubiquiti network address or access codes right there. You can edit that menu and delete the old one that had the compromised link. All right, everyone, I hope that video helped you. If it did, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel, tap that bell notification, share this video to other people who also use Ubiquiti, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, y'all.